Happy Valentine's Day, crafty friends. Are you ready for some fun, creative, rustic, farmhouse, budget-friendly DIYs? Well, you are in the right place. Let me introduce myself. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. And to start us off today, I'm making a heart pot and I'm using this red Dollar Tree bucket and I'm going to spray paint it white with this Rust-Oleum paint, but I end up changing it to gray. You'll see. I do like the white, but I do change it to the silver lining Waverly paint. I'm just gonna paint the top of it and I can sometimes never find the rope at Dollar Tree, so I went ahead and purchased some at, uh, on Amazon, and um, I can link that down below. I feel like sometimes you get a better deal with that. So here I painted two coats of the silver lining, and I'm going to add the rope just on the bottom half. So I really like the gray. I think it is a little bit more farmhouse, the white is nice too, but I just went with the gray. So I'm just going to wrap the bottom with all of the rope. And it came out great. I like it. So now I'm using some scraps of burlap and just putting it behind the hearts. And uh, I love how that peeps through. I really, really love how this turned out. I didn't know what I was gonna do with this bucket. Now, you're gonna see at the very top there, uh, there's some little places where I do have to trim off because I didn't want it to show through that little scalloped area. So I just took my scissors and just nicked those out just a little bit. Now, at this point, you can do whatever you like. Um, I filled it with some uh, boxwood, uh, artificial plant that I had. I believe I got it at Walmart and that could be it. And I love that this can stay up all year round really. But I have to add a little Valentine flair to it. So I'm using these skewers, some beads, and some of the wooden little stickers from Dollar Tree and I stick those right in. I love this. I love making little um like what do you call those things? Little sticker, little little things to put in. <laughs> and I have that um, a galvanized heart that I got from a, a, a Dollar Tree sign. And I just made three. Oh, I love how that turned out. So cute. And you can make those little sticks for some other plants. And you can even put them in a little gift. I love them. And then take them out when Valentine comes around. But I think this is beautiful and something that you can keep up all year round. What do you think? Don't forget to leave a comment down below. My next project is the Little Heart Sign. And I am using one of these little wooden plaques that I found at Dollar Tree and those little hearts. I love them, but I'm only gonna use half of it. So I'm just gonna take my pliers and clip off the little hanger thing. I'm gonna use my um, sandpaper to sort of uh, smooth out the edges. So my next thing is I'm using this Mod Podge um, matte spray and I love doing this and I should have done it on the heart pot and when you spray that it really helps give it sort of a rough finish so the paint will adhere better um, on plastic so that's my new thing and see how it makes it sort of a rough edge and it's going to be perfect and you did see me use my antique wax to uh, stain the little plaque 
I do put two coats of the pink, I think that's light pink apple barrel paint. And now I'm just going to sand it down to give it a little bit of a rustic distressed look. If you noticed at the first, I had the love sign, but I ended up not using that and I forgot I had this beautiful pink burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. I love it. I could only find one spool of it. I need to have more of it. It's such a pretty color. So I just took a little strip and wrapped it around, hot glued it in the back. And now I'm hot gluing my little half heart on there. And we are in the home stretch. I'm just gonna add a little twine bow and we are finished. I love this little thing. It's so cute, my little heart plaque. And you can hang it on a doorknob, a hook, where ever you like or you could just take the hanger off altogether but I love how this came out so simple so rustic and farmhouse what do you think I'm starting out my next project with these paint sticks from doll uh, no from Walmart it's called the love sign and I did pick up this sign from Dollar Tree. I actually liked it, it wasn't too bad, so I used most of it the way that it is. But I am gonna use my Sharpie to go over the letters and make them black. And then I end up coloring in that little line there you see, I end up coloring that in as well. And for the heart, I just take that off and I use one of the galvanized hearts from another sign and add that in there. I'm finishing up coloring in all the letters and I think they're so pretty that letter style is very pretty and now I'm going to take off the ribbon and get ready to make the sign uh, with the paint sticks I'm gonna use eight of these using the longest piece I can make I need to get those miter clippers huh, I need those bad but this end up working just fine it breaks really easily and then you'll see me here in just a little bit I'm going to sand them down so that they're not so rough so I really don't mind some of the rough edges and we're gonna uh, put those all together using two more smaller pieces so I, end I ended up using 10 sticks all together Hot gluing these all together, it makes such a great background sign. Oh, I love this. You can make it as wide as you want, as small as you want. And if you need to use wood glue, go ahead and do that. Um, but for what I'm doing, it, the hot glue is working just perfectly. And then I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in ivory, and I'm gonna give it two coats. Painting is such a stress-free art. I love it. Just paint, 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 and uh, your cares will be gone. <laughs> and now I'm using some of the Waverly um, Antique Wax. I'm using a wet cloth, and I'm just kind of dabbing it all over the place where I'm going to sand it. And then I do wipe some of it off. I didn't want it to be uh, overly stressed because the love signs are gonna go over it anyway. So I was kind of concentrating more on the ends. Um, but I love this technique. It came out great. And uh, I just kind of used the wet cloth to wipe off some of it. So my sign is dry and primed and ready to go to hot glue the love part on. And so I'm using my hot glue to put those on. I love that it already had burlap on there. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, I love burlap. I just love that rustic look of it. So this came out beautiful, so easy. And there you go. You take a Dollar Tree sign and turn it into something extra special. And now I'm taking some of this darling polka dot burlap ribbon 
and we're just gonna make a quick little bow, super easy. I wrapped it around a couple of times, then added a little extra piece for the tail using some twine to tie it in the middle. And now we're going to primp it and fluff it and get it ready to hot glue right on top. And there you have it. I think if I saw this sign in Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that, it would at least be $25. And I spent probably about four or five dollars. So I just really love how it turned out. If you want to hang it, just add a little hanger on top. And if you had some questions and you didn't know where I got something, just leave me a comment down below. Let me know how I did on this. Here comes the incredible easy heart tray. This is a red plastic tray from Dollar Tree. And I'm using some wooden beads, some Waverly chalk paint in plaster, and I am gonna spray it again with Mod Podge. I think a while ago I said Mod Podge. <laughs> it's Mod Podge, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I sprayed it to give that rough um, surface so the paint really went on a lot better and I did give it I think I did three coats and I also painted the little wooden beads that I got from Amazon and I'll also link those below so I'm using two on each side so six in all and I just thought it made it a little more sturdy super easy hot glue that right on and it's done And now we have the super fun task of decorating this tray. You can add whatever you like. I had one of the milk jars from Dollar Tree and these are those little acrylic gems. I just fill that up and I'm going to use some of the roses that I got also from Dollar Tree and some of the little wooden stickers. This is a candle that I'm using and if you have one of the wooden garlands, you can also throw that on there, just whatever you like. This would be perfect for your coffee table, uh, a buffet table, an entryway, even on your um, bathroom little table. Oh my goodness, it just could go anywhere. So enjoy decorating this, painting it, and I hope you can make yours today. Also wanted to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already and to like this video I'm also over there on Instagram at Susie stuff and I also have a Facebook page and just friend me and I would love to share all my ideas there as well so check me out at all of these cool places all right back to crafting this is one of my favorite ones today it's the heart wreath and I know you've seen these foam hearts at Dollar Tree and so I'm just gonna pull off the little heart and the hook at the top and I'm using this beautiful pink burlap ribbon again and it just took one roll thank goodness because that's all I had I was a little nervous I'm like oh I gotta finish it but I'm just wrapping it all around and what's so cool is right there at the point um, this ribbon has the wire in it so the little point came out perfectly and I'm using one of the little um, galvanized signs from Dollar Tree now I didn't like where I put it so I ended up pulling it off I needed to push it up just a little bit but I have some gingham bow gingham well buffalo check I guess gingham buffalo and I make a little shoestring bow tie that up there and we are pretty much done with this uh, little project it is so easy and you can hang it anywhere I love it You can see there I had to adjust it a little bit you could even put it across the middle I just kind of liked it on the side you have to let me know but this is it it is so easy I absolutely love it it is darling rustic farmhouse and I absolutely love that pink ribbon from Dollar Tree I need to pick up more of that pink stuff I hope they have it out year-round but only saw that one spool 
but I ended up hanging it in my bathroom. I'm loving these wreaths for my bathroom. And I have these little look hooks above my toilet. So I hope you can make one today. And my last project today is called the Scrapbook Paper Sign. I got this book of scrapbook paper at Walmart and I was so excited. It was $5.88 with a ton of paper in it. And I'm going to be using this um, Christmas sign from Dollar Tree. It was that one, you know, with it says let it snow on there. But you can use any sign. So I'm taking that uh, little hanger off. And if you look through, it's got some really cool little papers in it. And so I'm using this one right here. Did you think that I really had wooden hearts? It's so 3D looking. I love it. So I'm just going to sort of position it and I'm going to use a glue stick to uh, press that on. And I will point out, you may not notice, I sort of put my sign sideways with the uneven edges on the side. I think it should have been on the top, but I kind of goofed on that, but it, it's okay. I just wish that would have been on the top. So I'm using my uh, little block of sandpaper and I'm sanding it off to cut it off and that will give it a little bit of the distressed look. And so I'm going to also use some antique wax um, on the sides and throughout a little bit in the center. And I do rub it with my wet rag and sort of distress it that way. That's jazzy little music. Now I'm taking some twine and I'm going to wrap it on the top and the bottom and just get that all hot glued on there. And also, you see, I'm going to be using some of that uh, beaded garland. This I picked up during the holiday season, but I do, I did see it uh, for Valentine's. They had some red little heart, and those would be cute as well. So I'm just using these and it's pretty much done. You can see how I distressed it throughout. And that is it. Um, I think, what do you think about the sides? Do you really notice it? I wish I would have turned it around, but I think it turned out just okay. I love it. I love the rustic wood and 3D effect. So I hope you can make yours today. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed all of my fun, creative, rustic, farmhouse, budget-friendly DIYs today. And I also hope I've given you some inspiration to create your own. Don't forget about that scrapbook paper book from Walmart. I thought it was a great deal. I appreciate all your subscriptions and your commenting and your liking of this episode. And I also love being your friend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and even a comment. I would love to hear from you. I'll see you next time on Susie's Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.